dolls. So it has been some time since I have done one of these. I figured it was long overdue. And because Valentine's Day is coming up, I have to raid all of the stores and find as many cute things with hearts all over them as possible. So of course I had to hit up my local Dollar Tree and I got some stuff. So I figured it was time to do a Dollar Tree haul. So I'm gonna break this up into a few categories. The first category is Valentine's Day. The second category is just like fun random stuff. The third category is food and beverage. And the final category is necessities that are just boring everyday stuff that I just needed to replenish. So they have a ton of cute socks. So I ended up picking up three pair. These are for smaller feet. They do have other ones that aren't as cute for bigger sizes, but I saw these and I fell in love with them. So I had to see if they would fit me. And these in fact do look like they will. These are just cute little ankle socks. So there's these ones with the little stripes and hearts. There's these ones that say be mine and they have a pizza slice on the front but they're this adorable lilac shade which is so cute and the pizza uh, pepperoni is in the shape of hearts which is so precious so I love those ones and then the final one that I got these ones are a little bit higher I think these are higher socks and these have donuts and hearts on them and they're so cute I do want to see what these actually look like so I am gonna rip them out of the package real quick so I can show you guys. Oh yeah, these are super cute. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I'm so glad I took these out to show you guys. Look at this cute little scalloped edge right here. They're pink and white hearts. I almost said stars, but how cute are these? And they were only a dollar. So amazing find. I'm so glad I found these and I'm so glad my little baby feet can fit into them because they're just so precious. Okay, then next up, I love to get little dish towels like this to actually use in my bathroom. And I found this one that is just, you know, pink, red, and white. It says XOXO on it. Very cute. I did also find three other ones at Walmart that I posted about on my Instagram. So if you want to see those, they're like 10 times cuter than this one. Uh, follow my Instagram. It's just the same as my YouTube here. If you're not already, it's just Manna through 1409 But I love this little towel had to get it these are great i also got just this pink tool giant thick ribbon i love making big bows with this so i'll probably end up saving this for next christmas or something because i love to do these extravagant bows and stuff when i do presents sometimes then this is one of the cutest things i have seen at Dollar Tree in a while as far as their decorations go. This is a little doorknob hanger. You hang the heart over your doorknob and it has these little jingle bells on here. So when people go in and out of the doorway, it makes a little jingle bell sound. This is adorable for businesses. You know how like they usually have the bells that chime when you walk in so they know that the customers are there. We have bells on our doors at my work. And this is just like, it's such a cute little festive thing. And my favorite thing about Valentine's Day decorations, I can put these up in my room and use them into eternity. I don't have like a super specific color scheme because pink and red, that's for all year, you know, like red and green together, orange and black. Those are more like Christmas and Halloween. So something like this, I can definitely rock all year round. And I love that these pink little jingle bells are sparkly and it's just so cute. I love the little ribbon on here with the little kiss print and it's just adorable. They also had another one of these that was a little bit of a darker pink, more of like a rose pink, but I of course had to get the pastel one. I'm going to be putting this on my bedroom door. I don't even care if it's annoying. It's so cute and I love it. You could even hang it up on the wall and it would just be such a cute little accent piece. And the last Valentine's Day item that I got is this little puppy dog right here. It says XOXO on his side. I actually got this as a dog toy for my dog Rebel. Uh, I do not recommend little plushies like this if your dog is known for chewing up their toys and maybe even accidentally eating the cotton and stuff inside. This would not be good to give your dogs a little disclaimer here. I do not recommend giving toys like this to your dog if your dog 
dog is known for chewing up the toys and possibly just choking and swallowing the pieces from them of course you remove all the tags before you give them to him anyway but my dog just likes to carry the toys around he's never ripped his toys up or ripped holes in them or anything he just likes to carry them around and play with them and though this isn't an actual dog toy it doesn't have a squeaker so he might lose interest quickly uh, he will love to just like sleep with it maybe at night or walk around with it in his mouth and just kind of, you know, treat it like a little baby. But I love how even inside on the ears it has little hearts. That is just such a cute little thing. So I got that for him. And I'll insert a little video clip right here of when I give it to him. Rebel, there, there's a new toy on the bed for you. Yes, there is. Get up there. Get up there. <gasps> Was that new toy? Is that for you? Is that your new toy? <laughs> Do you love it? The cat over there is not thrilled. Do you love your new toy? <laughs> he is getting a haircut soon, by the way. He is a shaggy dog right now. He's getting his haircut this week, so. He loves his new toy, though. <laughs> Mommy did good, huh? <laughs> Yeah, you love it? Oh, you're such a good boy. Okay, the next section we have is just kind of random items that I picked up. Well, you guys know I love stickers. I always gotta look for new Lisa Frank sticker books when I go to Dollar Tree, and this is a new one that I have not seen yet. This one is actually really cool because like you open it up this way and it's got a few new stickers with different characters that I haven't really seen a lot of in these little sticker books. Like for example this little kitten right here you see it all the time but in this book it's holding on to a little high heel which is so cute and then with the little husky this is different than what we usually see. So I really really like that they added a little bit of like different twist to them. This sticker sheet right here that has like the squared rectangular stickers. These are great for sealing off envelopes as like a little seal or whatever. I love doing that when I send off like Poshmark packages and stuff. Oh my gosh, there's a reindeer. Oh my gosh, I wish I would have got like three more of these books because this is a holiday page. Oh my gosh okay this is adorable i am obsessed with this little reindeer right here we have this little puppy with a wreath we have a reindeer cookie we have this little witch on the broomstick i wish i would have gotten another thing of this because these are so cute that is adorable and then the last page just has like really cool ones as well so obsessed with the Lisa Frank sticker books. Always have to keep an eye out for new ones, different ones, and I'm so glad I found this one. Then in the stationary aisle, I also found, I found this one, and then I also found the Fox and the Hound, but I had to, of course, get the Lady and the Tramp one, and because I am a crazy DIY freak, I had to get two, <laughs> because the pictures in here, even just like on the very front page, these pictures are beautiful like they are so crisp and gorgeous and i have seen on etsy people will kind of like cut these out and like make little journals or collages or phone cases using the images from the golden books i think is what they're called golden books and they're like the vintage old ones but these are so crisp and they were like, they're just, they're so good. And I'm so happy. It even has, I was a little bit partial to this because it even has my tattoo scene in it, which is my favorite part of the whole entire movie, right when they kiss. It's just so good. And the ending page is my favorite because it's got everybody during Christmas there. And it's just so beautiful. So I can't wait to cut this up and create something with it. That's why I got two because I wanted to keep one to like kind of save it for the future. To just like have the book itself. But also if I wanted to do projects in the future. But also... I am still in the middle of doing my Disney scrapbook, so I figured that maybe cutting these out and using them in my scrapbook pages would be really, really cute as well. So uh, don't, don't be scared to like do DIY stuff with books like this that you find at Dollar Tree and stuff because 
just get a couple. They're only a dollar. Buy two of them, then you can have one to like keepsake and then rip the other one up and do all kinds of DIY stuff. So I'm so excited that I found this. I really wanted to get, um, I wanted to see if they had an Aristocats one because hello, I love Marie, but well, clearly, um, but yeah, I had to get Lady and the Tramp and even the cover itself is just so cute. I love it. Check those out and let me know if you guys find the Aristocats one of these. And if you do, send it to my PO box. Wink, wink. Then along the Disney theme, I found these little Minnie Mouse and Daisy Dixie Cups. I got these not necessarily because I use Dixie Cups all the time, but because I love to make rat and bird toys out of Dixie Cups. Sometimes I'll get for like bird toys for my mom's birds, I'll make something like this and I'll use the chain from the bird toys and just stick it through and then hide some treats in there so that the bird can kind of like open it up and dig the treats out and stuff. And I will do the same thing with my rats as well, except instead of the chain, sometimes I'll just use a long piece of fleece that I've cut, stack them like this, and then put a hole in the bottom of them and string it through and then hide treats even in the bottoms of these ones and kind of stack it. And sometimes I'll just throw Dixie cups in the rat cage and they'll just kind of bat them around, uh, play with them. Sometimes I like to hide treats in them and like put them upside down so they have to like knock it out of the way to get the treat out. I don't know, they're just fun, versatile, and I, they're just really cute. So they'll accent the cages very, very well. So had to get those. They also did have Disney princess ones, but I decided to get Minnie and Daisy instead. And then these are kind of along the lines of necessities, but also like, Hmm, I haven't tried these yet, so I want to. I was actually surprised to see this dry shampoo there. And it just is the Blossom Scent Spray Style and Go. Perfect to use in between washes. Compared to Batiste Dry Shampoo. Uh, I hate dry shampoo just for the simple fact that it does leave such a white powdery residue in my hair. And having bright pink hair like this, it just like dulls my hair down. After I use dry shampoo, it's not as vibrant. So I am waiting Arctic Fox, I am waiting for y'all to come out with tinted dry shampoo. Please and thank you. I've been on your butts for a couple years now. I want tinted dry shampoo in the corresponding shades as your hair dye. That would be great. I would very much appreciate that. But until then, I use Batiste and sometimes I'll use the Tresemme one, like the little travel size when I go out of town and stuff. But this said compared to Batiste. So I'm like, okay. Let's take it home. Let's try it. I literally just sprayed this in my hair. Like, as you can see, I, it's like a mess right now, but I just sprayed this in my hair before filming this because I wanted to give you guys like a first impression review of this. And oh my gosh, do you guys know what Crisco smells like? They even have like the, the cooking spray, the Crisco cooking spray. That's what this smells like, mixed with like a hint of floral scent. So it's like floral cooking spray smell. I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily want that scent in my hair all day, every day, whenever I use this. So they did have another one of these that wasn't the blossom scent. It was the crisp one, which I don't know how that would be a good thing. So I didn't pick that one. I picked this one mainly because it was more aesthetically pleasing, but also because I figured the scent would be better and I do use the floral scented Batiste. But this one, guys, just don't buy it. Just go with Batiste. This is okay if you're on a super, super tight budget or if you need it for traveling, like a smaller size, but just don't waste your money on this. It smells, okay, go to the store, okay, and spray this. And tell me, come back to the comment section and tell me if this does not smell like Crisco cooking spray. Okay, or like Pam. It's just, it, it has a slight floral scent, but it is just, I, I'm, I'm not okay with that one. It's a no from me. Moving on, I got Barbie mouthwash. And this is bubblegum flavor. I didn't actually need mouthwash. I usually use like the knockoff Listerine sometimes um, or like the alcohol free ones. But I was like, hey, it's Barbie. It's bubblegum flavor. Let's try it out. Okay, let's smell this. 
And I love that it's pink. Can we just like, econo oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah, that actually smells pretty decent. I don't hate this. It literally smells like bubble gum. So this is cool. I'm, I'm definitely excited to try this out. I don't know. It'll be fun. I just am excited that the liquid is just pink. Like that fascinated me. So I had to get it. Now moving on to food items. I just got four little food items. So I'm not going to like talk too much about them. I got some more of these strawberry wafers because my fiance is obsessed with these. So I like to have some when he comes around. I have been wanting to make brownies and chocolate chip cookies but i haven't been wanting to go through the effort of making homemade ones lately so i took the easy route and i got some betty crocker mixes for both fudge brownies and classic chocolate chip cookies i'm gonna make these guys tonight right after i finish filming this video and then the last thing that i got i figured i could do a little taste test trial on camera with you guys this is a disney donald duck juice and this is kiwi strawberry they also had fruit punch and a couple other ones but I decided to get this one because again it was a little more aesthetically pleasing I like kiwi strawberry juices usually it says flavored 100% for juice blend from concentrate with added ingredients and other natural flavors and it says 100% fruit juice on the back which is really really cool so if this is good I might have to go back and get some more of these Always, little quick tip, if you guys are shopping at Dollar Tree or like super cheap stores like that, always whenever you are buying liquids, teas, beverages, whatever it is, if it is like drinkable and you're putting it in your body, please always tip it upside down and look and see if there is anything growing or forming on the bottom layer of the container, jar, jug, bottle, whatever make sure there is not a thick substance just settling at the bottom because i have gotten teas at dollar tree before without checking the bottoms and i get home and i go to drink it and as i'm drinking it i see that like it separates at the bottom as i'm drinking it and there's literally just clumps of something in the bottom and it's really disgusting so please always verify your bottoms when you shop at dollar tree we're gonna open this and try it out Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> this isn't bad. Usually sometimes with kiwi strawberry drinks, you find that they're quite sour or tart due to the kiwi. But this one, this one's actually quite pleasant. I can get behind this. They also had apple juice and other ones too, like I said before. I kind of wish I got the fruit punch one to try as well, but this is good. I like this. Great. Awesome. Good job, Donald Duck. High five, Disney. Okay, and lastly, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of necessity items that I just had to get. Some of them are very, all of them are very boring, but um, I had to get toothpaste. This is just the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint. Uh, this is awesome because usually at like Walmart and Walgreens, this is like three or four dollars sometimes. And this is even the over one and a half times more for free. So the fact that it's a dollar and you get more than you usually do at drugstores is awesome. So got that. Had to get some scotch tape, so I got two things of scotch tape. This one I've already ripped open because I needed to use it, but yep, just regular clear tape. Always need that. <laughs> Speaking of always, I had to get some little panty liners, and usually I get these at Walmart and stuff, and they're quite expensive because they are the always brand, but I saw that they sell 20 packs, packs of 20 of these little liners at Dollar Tree, and I was like, Heck yeah, I'm going to get those. So I got those. <laughs> and with that, that is everything that I got from Dollar Tree this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. Let me know down below if you have any of these items. Thumbs up this video if you want to see more Dollar Tree hauls. I know I space them out way too far from each other. I need to do them more often. If this is the first video that you are ever seeing from me, feel free to subscribe for future videos like this. And with that being said, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong. Stay true and be you. All right.